Welcome to an overview of the Graduate Instructional Development Certificate, or GIDC. I am Karen Nybauer, here with Kiki Zisimopoulos from the Center for Instructional Excellence. For the next few minutes, we will touch on elements of the GIDC, which is the first tier of the Purdue Graduate Teaching Certificate program sponsored by the Teaching Academy. Specifically, we will review goals of the GIDC, including for whom it is best suited, the five required criteria, which dovetail with criteria of the other tiers in the program, how you can easily enroll in the program to begin working on a certificate, and eventually submit your application for approval. Please check out other videos in this series that provide further details on each certificate and specific criteria. The Tier 1 GIDC is the foundation upon which the other certificates build. You do not have to start at Tier 1, however, criteria met for Tier 1 apply to Tier 2, and criteria met for Tier 2 apply to Tier 3. The GIDC is designed for graduate students who may not have teaching duties, or whose responsibilities are mostly grading, administration, or meeting one-on-one -on -one with students. While you may not be responsible for course development or classroom management yet, Working toward the GIDC allows you to learn foundational pedagogic knowledge. You will learn terms, policies, procedures, and context through which you can observe and assist more senior instructors. Most important, you can begin to make decisions about the kind of instructor you want to be and the learning opportunities your future students will have. The first step in the GIDC is to enroll. We encourage you to complete this step as soon as you are interested because the application form is critical in helping you make decisions about how to complete the criteria. Go to purdue.edu slash CIE and click on the Graduate Teacher Certificate tab. Click on the Graduate Instructional Development Certificate link for a drop-down list of the criteria. But to get the full details on the GIDC, click on the Enroll button to open a form in which you enter a few details about yourself. We use this information to enroll you in the Blackboard site for the certificate. In this screenshot of the GIDC Blackboard site, you will see several resources. A discussion board where you can access answers to frequently asked questions and ask new questions. A copy of the Graduate Teacher Certificate brochure in PDF format sample essays and the rubric that CIE staff use to assess these reflections, a place where you can post your first reflective essay in order to receive feedback on it from CIE staff. Getting feedback on your first essay helps to develop stronger subsequent essays. And the GIDC application. Clicking on this link opens a Word document that you can save and begin to complete. Open the application document right away because it is filled with helpful details. This is a fillable form, meaning you can click on some lines and enter your information. There is a hyperlink to table of contents that allows you to move through the document quickly to find each of the five reports that need to be completed, as well as an appendix with helpful guides. The overview of the program will help orient you on the criteria and the resources. Think of it as a quick reference guide. Each teaching report includes fillable lines for all the documentation needed. In teaching report one, for example, you document the two individual teaching experiences you complete. Be sure to get the instructor of record signatures. We check back with these instructors. Teaching report two covers the three observations required. Your observation of a faculty member's teaching in your home department or the department in which you will teach. Your observation of an experienced teaching assistant's teaching and you are teaching observed by a faculty member. This can be done when you complete your individual teaching experiences. You are also required to write a short reflective essay on these observations and submit it along with your completed application. The appendix of the application includes an observation worksheet that you may find helpful in completing this criteria. You do not have to use the worksheet or include it with your application, although you may want to. Teaching Report 3 is for microteaching. This is a seven-minute teaching demonstration that you complete in front of an audience of peers, arranged by the Center for Instructional Excellence. Immediately after your presentation, you receive feedback from the audience. 
Then you set up an appointment to meet one-on-one -on -one with a CIE staff member at the Hall for Discovery and Learning Research. During this 30-minute playback appointment, you will watch a video of your presentation and discuss it with the staff member. Both the presentation and the playback appointments must be kept, and you must write a reflective essay on the experience to complete this criteria. The appendix of the application includes a helpful guide for developing a lesson plan for microteaching and some tips for success. Microteaching is offered every fall and spring semester by CIE as part of the College Teaching Workshop 1 series. Please see the CIE website for the schedule and to register. Teaching Report 4 is confirmation of your completion of teaching assistant orientation. This is a full day of sessions on effective classroom teaching offered week zero every fall semester by CIE. Some departments offer their own teaching assistant orientation, but check with CIE before assuming your department's orientation will count toward this criteria. Teaching Report 5 is where you document the minimum six hours of instructional development workshops you attend beyond TA orientation. A good place to start planning for this development is CIE's website, where you can go to the Workshops tab and find a schedule of sessions held every fall and spring semesters. These sessions are held Tuesday mornings for one hour and 15 minutes. They cover a variety of foundational topics, including active learning, instructional presentation techniques, and assessment. We record attendance at these sessions, so be sure to sign in. If you choose to attend an instructional development workshop offered by another department, you will need to provide documentation that you attended. No sessions outside Purdue West Lafayette qualify to meet the GIDC criteria. Once you've completed all the required criteria, gotten all the required signatures, and completed the two reflective essays for the GIDC, you may submit your application and documentation. We recommend that you convert the entire application, including the supporting documentation and essays, into a single PDF file. This way, you keep possession of the originals for your files. Then you can submit the PDF file via Blackboard. Please follow the directions on the Blackboard site. Allow about a month for us to review the application and get back to you with questions or approval. The five criteria for the Graduate Instructional Development Certificate will help you begin to develop foundational knowledge and expertise of teaching at the university level. If you have questions after reviewing this video, the GIDC application, and the frequently asked questions, please reach out to us at cie.purdue.edu.